I got this high poly orange right here and it's so easy to make this low poly while keeping the normals and this one has 4400 vertices and to make it low poly let's copy and paste this and then in the new object let's grab a decimate modifier and now we can just apply this one and look where it still looks good of course we can't go that low but a little bit lower than the original and i think this looks fine it's only 600 vertices now okay let's apply this and the next step is to go to the uv editing tab and add a new texture let's call this normal you can select how many pixels you like i want 4096 by 4096 and let's uncheck the alpha because we don't need that for our normal map and if we press a on the right we can select everything and then just press u smart uv project let's increase the island margin a bit and press ok and let's check this if it has some errors we can see that this is a little bit bad right here because um, it's not filled and with parts like this you just get a bad texture but this is not because of the uv map but oftentimes because the decimate modifier made some problems to me the model looks fine for now and what we can do next is go to the shading tab and then we need to add an image texture and from here select the normal okay make sure this is selected then we have to click on the old model and if you look closely you can see they overlap some parts are lower and some parts are higher and what we need to do is make the new model a bit smaller or a bit bigger so it completely overlaps the other model and not just parts of it like this this is not what we want so i make it bigger and i think this is fine and it's just a bit bigger than the original model okay now click on the original high poly model then press ctrl and left click at the same time on the new low poly model and for the next step yeah we can see this still overlaps a bit so let's make it even a little bit bigger this is fine and if you have done this let's switch to cycles i go to gpu compute because this is just a little bit faster for me and then select normal from here then select it to active because we want to bake from high poly to low poly and in that menu let's set the extrusion to 0.1 we increase this value because we made our model a bit bigger and we want to have it baked correctly and the only thing you have to do now is click on bake after waiting for a minute the bake is done and if your bake takes too long you can just decrease the render samples here a bit so 200 or something like that but for me it was fine like this and now make sure to save your texture otherwise you can't use it and now you see the color space is not grayed out anymore and you can change this to non-color then grab a normal map node and plug everything in and you can see the normal map gets applied this is the low poly version without the normal map and with the normal map and it basically looks like the high poly version exactly like this just a bit bigger and of course you can decrease the size and it looks exactly the same okay i hope you like this video if yes please leave a thumbs up and i'll see you next time